just about ready to go folks just doing a bit of a light check not putting a tow cover on because the roads are terrible the tow cover will be wet and filthy anyway easier to wipe the caravan down It's almost dark. Where are we going? Forest Park, Cromer, near Cromer. It's almost dark. We're going to Forest Park. <laughs> See you when we get there, folks. Bye. There's light in the darkness. You just gotta give your eyes a chance to it Feels like you've lost it. Just give Just arrived at Forest Park. Ellen's checking in and we're going to set up in the dark. On you two. There is dogs everywhere. Look at this little bit though. Can you tell where we are? Back at Forest Park, folks. And this bit of garden and grounds here is beautiful. Very well kept. A bit windy. There's three dogs here.
Come on, Miss Muffet. It's nice and peaceful through here. Good morning. Good morning. There's nothing quite like a woodland walk. No, there isn't. First thing in the morning. Yes. I was awoken this morning by Helen at stupid o'clock with Marshall Jefferson's Move Your Body. Thanks. Well, that's what I wanted you to do. Yeah, but not at that time of the morning. I had a heavy night in the club last night. A few pints with Marion and Steve and Colin and Fiona. Bingo. Oh, you know what? I bought, uh, I think I bought 12 pounds worth of bingo books. Wasn't nothing. I then bought a further 10 pounds worth of flyer tickets on the bingo. Nothing. Five pounds worth of meat raffle tickets. Nothing. It's a joke. It's a gamble, isn't it? That's the risk. Oh, and I spent £25 over the bar. So that was an expensive night out. Good oh. fun, though. Good fun. So we're going a little dog walk now. Then we're going to go into Chroma, folks. We'll show you around Chroma uh, on a winter's morning. I mean, it's actually uh, windy. It's wet, it's damp and quite cool. But nevertheless... You can't beat Chroma any time of the year. I don't see anyone surfing today. We've got a bit of a dog fest going on here, look. And they've all got their coats on. Yeah. Let's get a close up of all these dogs. <laughs> Come on, dogs. Let's get a close up of dogs. Doggies. Come here. Bell Bell. You can be in it as well. You, you guys can be in it. Hello. <laughs> 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 Oh, no. it's big. It's big. Yeah, that, we've only just had breakfast here and already these lot are on fish and chips. I'll be mixed for me, yeah. So I could do with a bigger bit of fish. <laughs> oh, <laughs> size of no. <laughs> I was scared because I didn't want anything spicy in case oh. I was stuck. What you got there, Hill? Um, whale and chips. Whale and chips. I'll take your mushy peas off you. You don't like them, Oh, do you? yeah, you can have them. Maz, why have you got nothing? It's not come yet. She's oh, got right, that. Oh. It's not come yet. So we've got... I've got a shoal of fish. <laughs> <laughs> a shoal of fish. We've even had dog food. We've had dog food delivered because we've got a number of dogs down here. I'm just going to put his camera between your legs. No, oh, hang on. <laughs> the red lion. That will be are. edited out. In chroma. Show them the biscuits for the dog. Yeah, we've got Sunday rice biscuits for the dog. Yeah. Yeah. And then under the yes. table here, we've got a. It's like Battersea Dog Zone under here, honestly. That... Hello, hello, have a little sniff in the camera. Thank you. Let's have a little look over there between Colin's legs. Real? There's another one. There's another one. <laughs> and then we've got a little one. Some, where's Mi where, Where's your little pooch gone? Daisy, she's I was going to say Mitzi there for a minute. Daisy. Daisy, where are you? Daisy. Where are you? Down here somewhere. Okay. Oh, there she comes. Hey, look Daisy. at that. Hello, Daisy. Anyway, oh, here we go. Oh, look at that, nice. Oh, Just have a closer look at Maz and Steve. <laughs> that is a chicken wrap. A chicken, it's a wrap. With mm. soup. Chicken wrap and soup. And soup. Look at that. Look at that. And have a look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Colin's out hungry, he's eating it's a dog food. biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh dear. Now if you're a regular, you'll know that Helen loves fudge. Everything is made on the table, it's all freshly made. Okay? Every flavour that we have at the moment is here. You're welcome to try any. Uh -huh. I'm a lemon raisin merchant, aren't I? Yeah. Do you want to try some well, you haven't raisin? got any of that sherbet lemon, have you? Um, we've got some you can try, but we will have some in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Because okay. it doesn't take long to make. I will have a little tiny sample of your lemon sherbet if that's all right. Yeah. So I'll give you a take a little taste of lemon raisin as well. Could I try your salty you caramel? Too? You're going to try them all, then no, they're not buy any, aren't you? That's what you're going to do. <laughs> Start with the 
Oh, well, yeah. This is going to be sherbet lemon. It looks more like toffee, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's the See. similarities between this and toffee, so. Yeah. In fact, if we didn't really do much to it, it would sort of stay a sort of toffee like. But this is the bit that gives it the creamy texture. So we work it as it's cooling, um, and that's what gives it a nice creamy sort of texture. Very good. Well, the sun doesn't shine every day. You go caravanning, especially in November. So we're having a cup of tea. Helen's got herself a diet coke, diet coke, and a Tunnox tea cake. No, I've had mine. That's real. Where's the millionaire shortbread? You hid it. It's gone. So what we got on TV, Hal? Huh? Oh, not yet. We'll have a little look and watch them on a wet day. Watch a bit of TV, I've got a video to edit, so we'll do that in a little while. And over here, look, Bella Juju, Bella Bella Juju, she's just had herself a nice chewy. She's got wet feet, so we've had to put her mat down on top of the couch. And we there. bought her a new coat in Chroma, which was quite reasonable, at just £21, wasn't it? Not too bad at all. Right, help, get the telly on, let's go for it. Right, so here we are, in Chroma. A couple of days later, the sun's shining and it's absolutely glorious. How you doing, Hal? Yeah, good. It's a better day, isn't it? Much more like Look at it. that house there, isn't it? Really tidy. Is it a house, number two? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. See a bit of the old Norfolk flint here. You see a lot of this in Norfolk. There's the Chroma Social Club. So what's the plan, Stan? What are we doing? I think we'll have a walk on the pier today. We couldn't go on the pier the other day. It was just torrential rain. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah. We could have done, but we'd have got drenched. Yeah, and we're going to look for a, a special um, painting, whatever you call oh, it, yes. painting. Oh yes, yes. Um, and we're going to go and have a bit of brekkie, aren't we, first? Yeah. Because we've had no breakfast yet. So we'll do a bit of chroma, and then we're going to head into Sheringham, meet up with Ronnie and Leslie, and also... Um, have a look at that carpet. Have a look at Ronnie's top tip carpet. Yeah. And if that works, we'll get some. We always park over there behind the visitor centre when we come. Can we to have Parliament. a look at this, the prices of the houses? Oh, you and your houses. There's a nice country one. Look, barn cottage at South Reps, four hundred thousand pounds. Oh yeah. Thank you. But I think I'd rather have this one at three seven five. Hell. No, I wouldn't. No. Uh, what, what do you fancy on this one then? None, none really. Let's <laughs> have a look around the corner. Might be something better around here. Hey, look, there's Hatter's tea shop, but I think it's just a tea shop. Nice little one there, Routon, 425. I thought you meant the one underneath, look, 210. That's a lot for a two bedroom cottage, is it? Might be bigger than you think. Mm. Anyway, come on. Should we go to the Hatter's tea shop? No, I think it's just a tea shop. We want, we want full Monty, don't we? Yeah, so we, we park behind the visitor's center when we come and then we head down here this little cut through and there's a nice butcher's, there's a deli and there's a good fruit and veg shop down here Sweet well. shop. Oh, and the sweet shop, yeah. I don't like them. But, but see, these are the good old fashioned sweets. Don't you like these licorice comfits? No. Oh no, I hate them. What would you have, coconut mushrooms? No, don't like them. What about the peanut? Oh, I hate them. Pineapple cubes? Oh no. Okay, oh, she's fussy, isn't she? <laughs> Well, they've got just about everything in there, Hal. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is the uh, fruit and veg shop. Quite like these little wreaths. They're nice, aren't they? Well, they're lovely, aren't they? Mm. How much are they, then? I don't know. I can't see a price. £7.50. Are they? £7.50. Yeah. Nice. Mm. God, look at the size of these jacket potatoes, Hal. Huh? We'll just have a look at all the fruit and all the veg, all the healthy stuff. 
I know we're going to give a full English. For a minute there, I thought that shop was called Skeletons, but it's just Skeletons. Skeletons, how Skeletons. Yeah. Now, one thing you don't see on many high streets anymore is a tobacconist. It's not trendy to smoke, is it? But you do it? here. But look here, look. A Falcon International, 41.95. Don't know if I'd suit a pipe. Hey, Hal. Yeah. Do you reckon I'd suit a pipe? No. no. I mean, no. Definitely not. But your your is, dad used to smoke one. This is quite a good idea, isn't it? What's that for? Well, I used to have one of these when I had my horse for a um, grooming kit. All yeah. the brushes and things. So what are you going to do with that then? Nowadays, it's just cleaning stuff, isn't uh, it? You don't think you need one then. <laughs> Come on, let's go and find the calf over here while there's no traffic. Now you come down Have here in come? the summertime and it's rammed, you can't move. It's fairly early on a Monday morning in the November. And you can move. It sounds like someone's alarm's going off. I don't know why or what. The thing that I really like about Chroma is all these little back streets. Because you've got little quaint shops. Plenty of pubs oh, look in Chroma. Yeah, these are nice. Look. Unusual. Look at that owl. Yeah, it's 145 quid there. Oh, wow. And that toadstool it must all be made of wood, is it? Nice, but pricey, I think. It's nice. Yeah, but they're unique. But at the end of the day, people, someone's got to put a lot of work and effort into making that. That's, yeah. And it looks pretty unique. I don't think it's the sort of thing that's been made on a production line, is it? No. Yeah, so we like all these little, little back streets. And one thing we keep saying we're going to do, we have yet to do, as an evening pub crawl in <laughs> Chroma because... Tonight, tonight might be the night. No, we can't. I've got to drive if we come here. We did say oh. we might try and get a night at the Red Lion. I can drive, can I? Oh, OK. Now, you're, you've you're been wrong. in there before, haven't you? You heard it here first. Yeah, I've bought loads of men's wear in there before. Very good. It's called Dapper Chaps. Everywhere you go in Chroma, you always see the church, no matter where you are. A lovely church, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. Well, we'll have a walk down the pier in a little while. It's a better day today, isn't it? Much better day. That's a Hotel de Paris, isn't it? Yes, I'll show you that in a second. Quick look over the railings. Now, we came down here on Saturday and we went into the Red Line for a bite to eat and the, the actual lifeboat launched while we were there, but we didn't have the camera on, did we? But Helen did get a little snapshot through the window. I'll show you that now. It was a murky day, though, wasn't it? It was murky on Saturday. Yeah. Yes, this is the Hotel de Paris. Got a lovely name, lovely old-looking um, hotel. Yeah. But um, well, our my niece's husband, Tim, has got a channel called Walk with Me, Tim, and uh, he goes around loads of hotels all over, around the world, doesn't he, with his channel? Yeah. And uh, he's been in here and. This is a lovely building on the outside, but it's a bit, uh, how can we put it? I don't know, tired? Tired. Dated? Old folks home? Well, it looks like <laughs> they've got, uh, they're all decked up for Christmas with little snowflakes in yeah. the window. It's not They quite, might have coach parties. I don't think it's that quite what place? it looks on the outside, inside, is it? Because it's quite a magnificent building, right in the yeah. centre of Chroma, with the best view in town, I'd say. Right over the uh, the beach and the cliff top, the pier. The water looks lovely today, look. Yeah, check out Walk With Me Tim. He's got a brilliant channel. Right. Look at that for a beach. We'll have a little walk down there later because what I want to show you, if I can find it, is just down there a bit past the... Uh, Almost as far as you can see, Helen. You see where all the oh, beach yeah. huts are? Yeah. That's the walk you're going to have to do after you've had your breakfast. That's fine, yeah. So also, we'll have a look at the, the Chroma Christmas Pier show because yeah. that's on and it's pretty good. Marion's been to that. She quite yeah, she has, yeah. it, doesn't she? Come on then, let's go and find Brecky. Well, Helen, you've got a nice 
healthy looking breakfast there. Um, I do, yeah. Quite amazing, it took more than 30 minutes to prepare it. It did take a bit of time. Oh, it was a long wait yeah. and, uh, well it's not packed in here is it? But anyway. I think I'll have one of them. Best things in life are worth waiting for. Let's see how we get on. I'll come back to this in just a couple of minutes time. I was always trained as a kid not to leave food. I can't leave it. Whereas Helen on the other hand, dear oh dear. Right, let's move it. Now this is Cromer Parish Church and regardless of your religious beliefs, you must go inside and have a look at the wonderful architecture and the amazing stained glass windows. We did that just a couple of days prior. So we're just going to see whether we can get in the church. Yes, it's it's raining pretty heavy. It's open, is it? Okay, I'll just have a quick look at this. This is quite good, folks. Weather aside, look here. A field of remembrance. The Royal British Legion Cromer. And look at the horse. That's excellent, isn't it? That's a great job. Well, this is the west window. Well, the tide's coming in. Luckily the waves and the sea's not too rough today. We've been down here before when it's splashed right over and uh, you're not actually allowed on this bit when that's going on. I think Helen spotted a Christmas show she wants to come to. Let's go and have a look. Absolutely as good as the West End musical itself. A truly wonderful theatre experience with something for everybody. We'll have to go to that one. It's on until the 30th of December from the 25th of November. There's nowhere quite like the Norfolk coast if you look back. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. And not many parts of Norfolk are hilly, it's nearly all flat uh, until you get to North Norfolk and round Cromer and Hunstanton and all round here. And it's a bit hillier. And then there's the hotel, the Paris, that we were talking about. Uh, got a lovely spot right on top overlooking the, the pier. Right, just coming around by the theatre and bar. Lovely. So just on the end you've got the Chroma lifeboat station here, which I think you can go in and have a look around. There's possibly a fee or a donation, but we'll have a look. Six out of ten lifeboat launches are possible because of gifts left to the RNLI in people's wills. Let's go have a look up here. And 
here it is. It's a Tamar class all weather lifeboat. Yeah, it looks much bigger in real life than it did when it went down the slipway. And there's the slipway there, through those doors, through those gates. The winch that pulls it back up when it's time to bring her in. And there's a strong smell of fish. fish. <laughs> yeah. Very strong smell of fish. Yeah, so the lifeboat would have launched out of there, Prima Lifeboat Station back in the day but of course it would have had to have been on the back of a tractor and a sleigh of some kind to get it along the beach and into the sea down there but now with its chute on the end of the pier it can be launched in literally minutes a couple of minutes max I would think so we've walked all the way down here quite a bit south of Proma Pier to show you this and you might be wondering what on earth is he going to show us and this ladies and gentlemen boys and girls is a Banksy work of art. Well, this is what it looked like originally, and sadly, some mindless graffiti vandalism has resulted in it looking a little more like this. And of course, it's been weathered by years of pounding North Sea currents and tides. But that, folks, is a Banksy. It's got like a varnish over the top of it, though. Thank you, Banksy. It's the Norfolk Lights Express. Have a look at our video from last Christmas where we captured a little bit of this. It does look superb. The children and grandchildren love that sort of thing. Anyway, we're now in Sheringham. Just going past the North Norfolk Railway here. And we're gonna have a little wander down the high street because we're going to the hardware shop see if we can find some of that carpet for the caravan well it's not as busy as normal folks which is good because getting down this street in the height of the season is pretty difficult I can tell you so here it is Blythe and Wright established ironmongers this shop's got everything So we're in the shop, we found all the carpets, look, and there's a few different colours. There's this green with the black. Which is nice. Look on the back, it's all rubber. Yeah. So it's pretty good serviceable carpet. We think this colour might be good for us. Yep. For our van. Ronnie's got the black. That's right. We've also got a candy striped one across there. A bit like a stick of rock. Blue and red. So you've got a few different colours to pick from. Yeah, I think the brown. Uh, it's 15 pounds for a meter. Right, we didn't really measure up. We're going to get four meters to be on the safe side, yeah? We're going to get four, yeah. There's an odd bit here, which is 1.5 meters for 22.50. So we're still in the same shop, and we've had questions about this non-slip matting that we had on top of the, the cooker and the shower. Yeah. And you can actually buy it here on the roll. All oh, this little roll's already made up different colors. Mm, I like the fishy one for the shower. Yeah. Aren't you? They're 12.99 and these are 9.99 a square meter, I guess. Yeah, all right, let's have a look then. What you found here then, Ham? Huh? Well, I had somebody give us a tip on YouTube to use this pink stuff for your lockers for the outside. So this plastic sometimes goes a bit yellow. Oh, yeah. And this is supposed to bring it up, you know, white. The miracle cleaning paste, is that the one we want? Yeah. Right, get your lockers from yellow to white with the pink stuff. 
All right, we'll try that. So, how much is it? Two forty-nine. That's pretty yeah, good, isn't it? Very good. You can get it from B and M, I believe. Tell you what else I noticed. Someone's is quite worrying, really. Got, look at all this going on. Yeah. We've we'll just come over to Ronnie and Leslie's summer house. What a lovely place you've got here, you guys. We only use it every other weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Where are the horses? Are they all away now, are they? Yeah. 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 Oh, I'll be there after. So we'll show you around the rest of their place in a little while, but we'll just have a look. Oh. It's called the Dale's Hotel. Oh, you've blown it. You've blown it. I was trying to make out Ronnie and Leslie lived here. Oh. Yeah, so far we're very impressed. We've ordered a meal on Ronnie and Leslie's recommendation. We've come here. Another one of your top tips, Ronnie, isn't it? Yes, another yeah. one. Yeah, another one of your top tips. So we'll see how the food is, and if we like it, we might book a room for your birthday, Hal, because it's Helen's birthday, everybody. Um, shall I tell them when it is? Next week. 14th. Mm. Right, so if you want to send presents, oh. uh, I'll put the bank details down below. Yes. <laughs> oh, do they? Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I'm about five back here to sleep. I thought you were going to get up and go for a walk. What the heck? <clears throat> so Helen's gone for the butternut squash soup. Shine on that soup. Nice. <laughs> over here, over here we have, this is mackerel. Tuna. No, it's not tuna, it's oh, mackerel. Mackerel. Yeah, mackerel over here. Here comes the most important part of the meal. Hey, hey, you've got your two pints. Two pints, we've got. <laughs> See, this gentleman, he's good, isn't he? He's good. But I've, got to, I've got to reach over and ask you, Ronnie. What on earth have you got on your plate? That is jackfruit. Jackfruit? Yes. Never heard of it. No, it is. What is it, Leslie? I don't know what it is exactly. It's a vegetable. Vegetable, yeah. Vegetable. And it's all got like a breadcrumbs on it, is it? Yeah, or that's batter or something. very much like pulled pork. Ah, right. But it's but there's no meat in there at all. No, no, no meat. Vegetarian Can I just come over to you then, people. Leslie? Obviously, you're not hanging around. You're not stuck in. What Look is at that, that beetroot falafels. Two very healthy starters. Yeah. Very healthy on the other side of the table. Although mackerel's pretty healthy, isn't it? So it's, uh, it's an isoir. Yeah. Have you, have you never heard of an isoir? <laughs> Well, you can't fault the presentation here, folks. This is a bit of um, belly pork. Look at this. It's on a plate that is steaming hot. I love hot food. Over here we have Helen's chicken. Chicken. Looking nice. Uh, Ronnie's followed suit. It's a man's I've got a man's meal. What have you got, Ron? Same as you, Dave. Yeah, got the old belly pork roast. And then over here we've got healthy pickings from Seabass. Seabass from Leslie. Seabass. It looks amazing. Service here is super. Yeah. And the grand finale is the sweet. Well, I can't even remember what this is. An apple and something. What is it? Apple and frangipan, pistachio ice cream, and some. Something else. Some jam. Over here, creme brulee. Mm. And it's been smashed up. <laughs> it's got pistachio nuts on top. Shortbread biscuits. And shortbread biscuits. Not just any old shortbread biscuits, are they? What are they? Lemon and thyme. Lemon and thyme. Yeah. Ronnie's gone down the same route as Helen. Yeah. And Leslie, what have you got over there? Um, chocolate pork, oh. raspberry, blueberry. Oh. 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 And do you know what? Should we tell them how much we're paying for this? No, they're going to look really, really expensive. Yeah, we don't miss. a special deal. It's a special price tonight. And, uh, I'll reveal the price in a moment on the screen. Right, that's it then, Hell. That's it for here. The reunion is over. Yep. Good few days. The weather was kind of back to front because it's kind of <laughs> nice now. Everybody's gone. We're the last ones. So if you have been, like we always say, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. And the notification bell is an all important must as well. Don't know where we're going to be next time. But wherever it is, we'll see you there. See you next time. Bye, -bye. bye for now.